and coming directly off of Hexen. Hey there guys, my name is Finn. The mission I'm playing is The Seven Sisters by Lady Rowena. Let's get into it. And now, I forgot to get that loot that I got in the first video in that little market stall, but not to fear, we will be going back there again later, so I'll get it then. For now, let's watch the loading screen forever. Oh man! No, I mean sir. God. I think I should just load that first to cache it and then start recording and load it again because, jeez. Okay, so last time I just got a water arrow or two or whatever over there. Arrow. And now I'm gonna... Yeah, a noise. I'm gonna go in here and steal me some equipment. So that's Connor the blacksmith if you were reading. Gonna ghost him because it's pretty easy. Now there's a neat thing here. If you touch the sword, see it, f it highlights, you can frob it, but if you frob it, you get hurt because I mean honestly it's sticking right in that hot thing, you get burned. Come on now. Nice little touches like that. Uh, it looks like it might be tricky to ghost this guy, but the thing is, he just stops there, and you can stand right here in the corner and just wait for him to go. See? Easy. Now, yeah, this guy doesn't have a key on him, so more picking. Now, even though you can get out this way by opening the gate, I normally don't do so. This is just a dead end. This is the way out. Because you have to kind of go that way. And the last time I tried that, I got caught. Look at all these guys. So I'm just going to take my chances with this guy again. Go back to the sewers. But I came in here to get the equipment. And I might as well have just opened that gate just for show. So now I gotta wait for him to come up. Now, normally when I'm playing, I like to just blackjack everyone. And I used to just do that to absolutely everyone, even if they were sleeping or whatever. But of late, I've been a little less fanatical and psychotic about it. And I like to try some simple ghosting sometimes if I think it'll be fun. Or try to play a bit more reasonably. So this isn't all just me trying to put on a show for the cameras here. I'm becoming a little bit of a more well-balanced taffer. Now the way this uh, map is laid out to me is really awesome because it's very large and essentially non-linear. But the way that the progress unfolds is genius. It's, it takes you through a bit of a linear path first to get you to sort of know the layout and get you to open up the stuff. Okay, I'm not going to go in that door. I'm going to go there later. Because in this type of game, if you go... Oh, yes. If you go around, it's great to explore, but I like to uh, not have 500 videos on YouTube. So, as I was saying, like, this police station is a bit of a barrier. You have to get around, over, or through it. You can't get down through the water because you have to get that... Uh, gate up, which you have to do from the other side, and you can't open those doors because they're closed, so you have to, it's like a blockade. Now, this guy is, depending on the angle, sorry, I'm just talking. he's really easy to ghost if you get him at the right spot. There is some loot in there. Okay, wait for him to turn. Quickly run in, grab the loot, don't bother about the food, unless you want to blackjack that guy. But that guy is weird, because he is, normally in this game, the sort of peasants, the, the non-aggressive AIs, if they are if they are on third alert and running, you can still knock them out, which is unlike aggressive AI like the guards. But that guy, you cannot knock him out if he's on third alert, so 
just there. Now there's two ways to get up here. You can go into that window or you can go in the middle. I like the middle because it's a bigger rope arrow target. And this is pretty tricky. You have to just get up so you can just see his head. <laughs> Not again. Like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna knock that guy out. He is just way too much trouble. Now, normally what I do is to douse three torches here. This is two. Is there a guy who's walking around? And it's nice to have a corner, a dark corner to hide in. Right? Yep, we'll be finding that dude later on. Now I can open the doors, and now there's one barrier removed. Now, I'm probably gonna KO at least one of these guys. <coughs> that guy. You know what? I'll just <coughs> do both of them. I mean... I don't think I'm being unreasonable here. Walter. Now, while that guy's going... Uh, now here's a little in-joke. Fair enough. So, while that guy's going there, I'll just go in here and see what's over here. Yeah, exciting commentary. So, they stole some guy's money, cause, yeah... If you want to have cops in a thief game, you pretty much got to make them crooked. I mean, or else they're just not interesting. Uh, not applying to real life, of course. Now, where's that guy? Is he still down there? Okay, here he comes. Which way? Gotcha. Alright. The guys in here are pretty troublesome. It's not that they're really difficult to ghost, per se, that much. It's just, again, it's an issue of spending time. And I have to go down here. Because... Well, now, well, do well, I have the key? Oh, there... I don't need a key, for some reason. There is one coin there. Okay, I said most of this loot wasn't dickish. I guess some of it's bordering, but still, you know, there are hints. I mean, openable cells, and like, to me, I always check cells, because it's a good place to hide stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I don't have the key to this place either. Do you have to pick it? Well, I'm not going to pick it. We're forgetting. Such great classic non-linear thief gameplay <laughs> makes me forget where to go. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, since I'm here, is to feed the monkey. That's right. Oh, crap. Now he's alerted. That guy will actually see you from pretty far away. Yeah, this monkey will alert to you, but what you gotta do is get in the shadows behind him. Where is it? Give him the donut. And <laughs> we get a cash box key. Thanks, monkey. Dolly, I suppose. Wally and the fabulous Dolly. So, now I can snatch this bit of loot over here. And there's that. And... You know... I'm probably just gonna have to fudge the route a bit, because I don't remember. I mean, I know I should have planned, but... <gasps> eh. Because, you see... I think I was gonna go here later. Now that door may look like something, and indeed it is, but that's in the second mission. You can't do anything with it now. But... 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna continue on here. Because I'm pretty sure this is where I normally go. This is Dr. Knox. If you were wondering, Basil went over here to try to find a cure. And I am following him in to see what the deal. Now, this Dr. Knox and the Burke and Hare thing is, of course, a reference to the actual story of a Dr. Robert Knox and a uh, Burke and a Hare who were providing him with freshly killed corpses for dissection. <laughs> it's pretty gruesome, you know. plot thickens. Let's take a look at what we got here. So we can't do that. Something odd has happened, so now we have to look for the journals to find out what happened to Basso and all these people. And there's a not-so-hidden switch. And next time, I'll go down into the secret lab and... because it is a secret lab, spoilers, and see what's the happenings. I keep wanting to say what's the haps, but that's somebody else's phrase. Whatever. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.